Today we're driving the 2024 Cadillac Lyric. This is Cadillac's all-new fully electric luxury SUV. I've been seeing these around Detroit for a couple years driving around. They always look so cool on the road. I am really excited to get behind the wheel of this one this week and share my experience with you guys. So let's walk you guys around this, talk about what it's been like to live with. So what do you need to know about the Cadillac Lyric? This starts at around $57,000 it qualifies for the $7,500 tax credit. So if you qualify for the tax credit, you could potentially get into one of these for as little as 50 grand. This one is the Luxury 3, which is a little bit more expensive. Prices tested on this is a little over $73,000. So we've got some optional extras, some, some things. We'll include all that detail in the description. This is the single motor rear wheel drive Cadillac Lyric, which means it has 340 horsepower and it'll go 314 miles on a full charge. This is painted in Nimbus Metallic, which is kind of this cool baby blue. First, I wasn't completely sold on this color, but it's really grown on me this week. I think the Lyric is a particularly striking looking electric vehicle. We've got 22 inch wheels, which are just massive. This front grille that just kind of reminds me of a classy pinstriped suit. There's some really neat design touches here. The rear end's a bit funky looking, but I really like the look of this thing. It's got presence on the road too. It's long, it's wide. Let's start in the back. You can pop the tailgate by pressing the Cadillac logo. We have quite a bit of storage space back here. You can fold down those rear seats with these two buttons. We've got some deep underfloor storage right here. A lot of room there. Cadillac has changed this door handle design since 2023. Before, you would just these would be flush and you just press this piece and the door would pop open and you'd have to open the door like this. But now, we have what we've seen a lot of other electric vehicles, just a door that opens up and you can grab the handle. Back seats, plenty of room back here in the Cadillac Lyric. I'm five foot 10, this front seat is set to my driving position. I have lots of room to put my feet underneath that front seat. If I kind of relax into a comfortable seating position, I have plenty of headroom, about two and a half inches above my head. There is a armrest right here. I really like this sky cool gray with Santorini blue interior. And I'll show you the Santorini blue bits once we get up to the front seat. We have rear climate control, a couple USB-C ports, a plug outlet, a nice big panoramic roof. Yeah, all very nice. Easily accessible isofix points there flat floor, also a 19 speaker AKG audio system, we'll listen to that here in a little bit. Here's your charge port. This Lyric has the optional 19.2 kilowatt onboard charger. You can charge this in your garage from empty to full in about 6.7 hours, which is pretty good. These massive 22s. Michelin all-season tires, 275 40 R22s. I think Cadillac's been able to achieve something here with the design in that this almost looks like a concept car driving down the road. It really is pretty stunning. Interior, I think, is functional and attractive. Okay, maybe some of the materials aren't top-notch, but for the money, I think they've hit all the right marks here. pop the hood real quick show you what's under there there is no front trunk just a whole lot of plastic and covers and things like that not too uncommon to see in ground up EVs these days the lack of a front trunk all right so Getting into this interior, we see quite a few physical controls and buttons, which I really like. All of our climate control, easily changed up there. You've got auto modes, you can change your fan speed direction, turn on the heat. We have heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, kind of haptic button right there. Your gear selector is right here on the stock. You pull in 
and up or down to go in reverse or drive. And you push this button on the side to put it into park. Lots of storage. Here's your wireless phone charger. There's a bit of a pressurized element in there that keeps it nicely squeezed so it's always charging. Down here you've got some controls for your infotainment screen. You can use this as a scroll wheel or chances are you're probably just going to be using this as a touch screen. There are a few quick access controls here for your home, your navigation, your music, your phone, all that stuff. And sometimes that'll tie into CarPlay or Android Auto. Also your volume control is right there. It's not this heat vent control, which I've been trying to use as a volume control all week. Right here we've got some secret storage. There's that Santorini blue for you, as well as right here under the center console. Really the cheapest feeling thing in this interior is just this cup holder button. Kind of opens up more access in this area. Here's your key fob. You can remote start, pop the tailgate, unlock, lock, that's about it. Steering wheel. As you may have noticed when we started this up, we have Super Cruise and probably a couple of purple flashing infrared lights right here. I can't see those with my naked eye, but the GoPro for some reason picks them up. Over to our left, we've got buttons here for lane keep assist, auto hold, our gauge cluster brightness, parking brake, and then we've got our seat controls right here. You can control backrest, fore and aft, up and down. Seats are very comfortable. I wish the driver's seat went down a little bit lower. Plenty of adjustment here with a steering wheel. This little knob right here controls your lumbar or massage, which gets the job done. Auto up down windows on all four corners. Kind of a funky door release right here. I'm, I like it though, I get used to it. Button right there to pop your tailgate. And then we get to the steering wheel. We've got this paddle here on the left, which kind of maximizes our regenerative braking if we want to slow down a little bit quicker. Maybe we're coming a little bit too hot into an intersection or a traffic light, and you want to just maximize that. That doesn't use the brake pads, which is very nice. We've got buttons here for our heated steering wheel, super cruise, following distance, cruise control, all that stuff. Here's your track selection, um, and phone controls, audio, all that other stuff. Power button, digital rear view mirror, sunshade controls up there. We have speakers in the headrests, which is kind of neat. And then let's talk about this infotainment a little bit. We have a nice responsive screen here from Cadillac. A little bit buggy sometimes, but for the most part, it does a pretty good job. CarPlay is kind of a weird integration into the screen shape. I wish this were just a little bit cleaner, but anyway, a minor complaint overall. Interesting note on the glove box. There's not a button to pop that open. Some other reviews have touched on this. I figured I'd elaborate a little bit. When you're in drive and you're just driving along, you have to access the glove box from this controls menu and there's a glove box release. There you go. But when you're in park and you'd be reaching into the glove box for things, let's see here. Let's say you're in car play or whatever there's a little icon that pops up for the glove box release automatically. So it's always there, which is very nice. Also in that menu is a button for one pedal driving, which works very, very well in this Cadillac Lyric. There are a couple settings for that, high and normal and off. This car has Google Maps as the native navigation, which is very nice to see. I am liking some of these Android based uh, navigation systems in cars and you can see this fits the whole screen, unlike CarPlay. All right, that feels like a pretty good walk around. Let's talk about our sponsor for this video, Lewis Jewelers. You may have noticed that I am wearing a Tudor Pelagos 39 this week. We have a very nice watch to complement this Cadillac Lyric. Lewis Jewelers is my go-to dealer for many high-end luxury watch brands like Tudor, Omega, Breitling, Tag Heuer, and Grand Seiko. Talk to DK, whether you're in the Ann Arbor or Metro Detroit area, or if you're somewhere else in the country or world, uh, DK will really take good care of you guys. And don't forget to tell them that the Topher sent you. Also, Lewis Jewelers is an authorized dealer, which means that you get to maintain your manufacturer warranty. Anyway, enjoy the Tudor Pelagos in this video. I think it pairs nicely with this Cadillac Lyric. Let's go for a drive. Impressive turning radius considering how long this vehicle is. 
Steering is nice and light, has a little bit of resistance coming back to center, but for the most part, it feels pretty maneuverable in tighter parking spaces. Let's show you what the cameras look like here. You've got a 360 cam, reverse camera. That changes to a forward facing when you go into drive. Kind of small given the screen sizes here. I wish Cadillac would integrate some of this stuff a little bit better. We do have some drive modes in this Cadillac Lyric. To access those, you swipe over and go into your drive mode screen. This is kind of one of the few things I wish we had a physical toggle for, but again, the drive modes don't really do a whole lot. They just kind of change throttle response. So, sport mode, slightly better throttle response there. Turns your ambient lighting red. Also, you get snow and ice mode, my mode, and tour. We'll probably just leave it between sport and tour in this video. Also, to the left, I didn't touch on this in the walk around, we get a couple different gauge clusters. So you can see this sweep gauge cluster here with your battery meter. There's an energy view, a map view, which for some reason doesn't seem to be coming up right now. Driving assist, and then there's this calm, clean screen. At low speeds, acceleration just feels great good amount of power, really smooth power delivery. I like the way the brake pedal feels. If you need to dip into it or if you've turned off one pedal driving, it's linear, it feels natural, which is pretty much all you could want out of an electric vehicle brake pedal. rattles in this interior. It's one of my own like, complaints about this Lyric. And whatever's rattling back there just started doing that. I wasn't doing that all week. Of course, it only starts when I start filming my video. But just a lot of little creaks and little plasticky noises from this Cadillac Lyric. Would like to see Cadillac and GM work on quieting all that down. Otherwise, though, NVH in this car is fantastic. There is an abnormal amount of wind today. While we're filming, we're getting pretty high wind gusts, so you're going to be hearing more wind noise than you would normally. Ultimately, this thing is really quiet going down the road at highway speeds, uh, but today that's probably not going to be the case since we've got these crazy wind gusts. Heated seats, nice and toasty. They heat your back too, which is very nice. Coming to a stop very softly, very smoothly. A lot of regenerative braking power here with one pedal driving. And like any EV, good acceleration off the line. Traction control can be a little bit intrusive sometimes, especially in the wet. But because this is rear wheel drive, I can see why Cadillac would want to eliminate wheel spin. There's a softness to all the controls, the inputs, the feedback that you get as a driver in this Cadillac Lyric. Handling is pretty good. Nice overall mechanical grip. Foot to the floor, traction control is limiting us, and now as we straighten out the wheel, it'll give us full power. Not super impressed with the power level on the highway. Doesn't feel that quick once you get up to speed, but around town it's it's fast enough. Also, the all-wheel drive dual motor version of the Cadillac Lyric will have 500 horsepower and put all of its power down very well. So if you want a little more power, uh, that's probably the one to go with. But I will say, in the hands of the general public and most people, this is probably about the perfect amount of power that I would want to put into people's hands. For a regular mainstream EV. Delivery is so smooth, it's very, very comfortable to drive. Let's test out our Super Cruise. Alright, so we can change our speed right here, one mile an hour or five mile an hour increments. I have this set to lane change on my command, 
So you can have this auto lane change depending on whatever the car sees around it. I've opted to turn that off because it was kind of doing its own thing a little bit too much. Uh, if I were exiting and I had my navigation running, it would decide to pass a semi-truck right before I was about to exit. It's kind of weird. So the systems don't really talk to each other. That could be a nice improvement, maybe through software at some point. But the Super Cruise seems to work pretty well. You do have to keep your eyes facing forward. You have to be paying attention. And as long as you play ball, it seems to do a pretty nice job driving the car. You change your following distance here pretty easily. Three modes of gap adjust. And then if you want to disable the whole system, just hit cancel or hit the brake pedal and it all goes away. Look at this regen here coming down from speed. 98 kilowatts going back into the battery there. I barely have to press the brake pedal in this Lyric. The one pedal driving here is just fantastic. It's so well calibrated, so well tuned. And then if you want even more, you can pull this paddle on the left, but usually it's not even necessary. Let's go into sport mode see how that changes things up here. Better throttle response. And you can hear there's a little bit of electric motor noise in this Lyric. It sounds kind of cool, I think. If you're from Detroit, it kind of sounds like the people mover. <laughs> it sounds good. It does take a minute for the vehicle to register and recognize that you're on the highway. So it can take a minute for Super Cruise to engage sometimes. You have to be patient with the system. There it is. You see the steering wheel icon on the dash, and we're in business. Let's see how it handles this corner here. Nice. Alright, so, some final thoughts on this Cadillac Lyric. I really like the way this drives. It's smooth, it's soft, there's kind of just this, this nice luxury feel to everything. Okay, maybe it's not as high quality overall as some of the German competitors, uh, but overall I think it's a really nice effort for an American luxury EV. It's hugely spacious inside. I think that's a really big positive to this Cadillac Lyric. Tons of room in the back seat. It's pretty well equipped. It looks cool. It drives great. And really, my only complaints here are, I wish we got physical buttons for maybe a couple more things like drive mode selection and uh, I don't know, maybe some Super Cruise settings or something. But. Uh, for the most part, everything's well organized. The tech seems to work well this week. The only bug I had was when I first got into this car, the AKG audio system sounded like all the speakers were blown. Everything was crackling and popping. Something was going on. Not sure what it is, but it did it the first time I drove the vehicle. And then every time ever since all week, it's worked fine. So not sure what was happening there. The Cadillac Lyric, in my experience, is self-healing. So it will fix its problems. Um, but otherwise, everything's been pretty smooth few rattles in the back, which again, just popped up while filming this video, um, Murphy's Law, I guess. But overall, a pretty nice luxury EV driving experience here. I am impressed with what Cadillac has put together with this Lyric. One thing that I didn't really notice while filming this video, or at least the walk around, is sometimes the heat pump can be pretty loud in this. So if you're just sitting, kind of idling, 
you've just started up the vehicle, you're in your driveway, or you've driven to a parking spot, you're stopped, the heat pump can transmit quite a bit of uh, NVH and vibration into the cabin. It almost feels like there's an internal combustion engine, maybe a little bit more vibration than an internal combustion engine sometimes. Um, so that's something I've noticed this week. Otherwise, it's all been pretty good here with the Cadillac Lyric. I think living with this car, you'd really become comfortable with the controls. You can see, all right, we've got some fingerprints here on this gloss black. Maybe that's not the best material choice uh, in today's era. But when it's clean, it does look nice. It just does get a little bit grungy pretty quickly, which isn't ideal. Um, what else? Steering feels a little bit stiff sometimes. I wish it returned to center a bit faster. I have to do a bit more work with the wheel at lower speeds in parking lots, but that's just kind of a minor complaint. Overall... I think a very nice effort here from Cadillac. Uh, I'm very impressed with what they've done here with this new Cadillac Lyric. Let's walk you around this one more time and then we'll do a sound system test with this AKG 19 speaker audio. Oh, one strange thing, there isn't really a way to lock the door unless if you have it set in the settings to lock automatically when you walk away. There's no sensor here or anything on these door handles. You can't push them in to lock. You just have to kind of reach into your pocket and hit the key and then the handles will fold flush. The 450 corresponds to newton meters of torque. It's rounded up. And then when you walk up to the vehicle, the door handles will present themselves. That's a cool looking graphic. All right, let's go into CarPlay here. See how quickly this connects. And we'll do a quick sound system test. Here's our volume here and here. this AKG sound system. It's actually kind of a disappointment, especially when compared to some of the other AKG audio in the Cadillac lineup. This falls a little bit short. It's okay, it's acceptable enough, but definitely nothing class leading here about the in-car audio. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on the Cadillac Lyric. Go check out Lewis Jewelers. I'll put a link in the top comment. That'll be it for this one. We'll see you guys later. Take care.